Welcome to Learn with Saeed. I'm Saeed Mahmood. Today we're talking about IELTS speaking. In the weeks and days before the IELTS speaking test, make sure you take the time to actually practice speaking English with friends and family. This will help you to get rid of the rustiness that one develops over time by not speaking in a certain language over a period of time. This lack of fluency is something that is bound to happen to anyone if you have not practiced speaking English for a while. What happens in that case is you know the words and phrases that you want to use but you cannot string them together while you speak. To help with this issue, you need to practice speaking English as much as you can in the weeks leading to the test. You should also consider recording yourself while you speak. Pick some topics to talk about. I've made a video on the topics that usually get repeated in IELTS. Pick some topics and questions from there. Record yourself on your mobile phone while you answer those questions. When you listen to yourself on the recording, you will be able to identify some of the things that you did wrong. In the initial part of the speaking test, the examiner asks you a few questions about yourself or the things that you know about, things that you're familiar with. For example, about yourself, about your family, about what you do, what you intend to do in the future, things that you like, things that you don't like, and so on. You should try and get used to talking about these things in English. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers in the IELTS speaking test. The examiner will assess you based on how well you can express your opinions and ideas in good English. What is being tested here is your linguistic skill, not your general knowledge. So if you have no idea about something, it is okay to say that to the examiner. However, usually the questions are about things that you would at least know something about. So you can answer based on what you know. Don't worry about whether the answer is right or wrong. I hope that helps. See you next time.